Hello, I'm Kim Kleinman, and I'm here today to interview Stefano Bolognini, who is the president of the IPA. I'm a member of the IPA in New York. I'm a member of the Contemporary Freudian Society. So, Stefano, would you introduce yourself to the members and to anyone who's listening? Thank you, Kim, with great pleasure. Uh, hi to all members of the IPA. I am speaking to you from my practice in Bologna, Italy, and I'm very happy to uh, give you some uh, information about uh, what the new ad the administration is now doing for IPA and for its membership. So one of the issues that we thought would be the website editorial board thought would be very helpful for you to discuss is what is being done to address prejudice towards homosexuality and transgender individuals in the IPA? Yes, uh, this is a, a very, very important topic for us because we realized how our community is uh, uh, in some difficulty uh, regarding the most recent achievements, scientific achievement, and cultural and social positionment of the psychoanalysts about these important themes. Uh, and recently, the IPA board, under the inspiration of the administration, uh, decided two new initiatives. One is uh, uh, a new committee, which is uh, named uh, IPA Sexual and Gender Diversity Studies Committee. This committee will uh, promote and organize uh, scientific research studies, information and interchange about the wide, uh, huge theme of sexuality and gender uh, with no prejudice and with uh, no previous uh, statements, with an explorative attitude uh, in order to better know what is going ahead around the world uh, in our area which kind of studies have been presented, which experiences, which kind of psychoanalytic explorations, stories, vicissitudes, individual and subjective uh, paths, which uh, characterize uh, so many different realities and subjectivities. We want uh, to know more and we want to promote an exchange among the psychoanalysts that is free-minded, open-minded, with no prejudice, and that explore all kinds of sexualities, uh, hetero, homo, bi, trans, uh, and uh, the many, many variations which are in the human nature and uh, in the humanity in general. Uh, it, uh, an, uh, an appropriate committee uh, will be selected uh, with people coming from all countries and with uh, all kind of uh, psychoanalytic uh, and gender characterization. So we will have uh, in, uh, I hope, uh, in not long time, uh, a wide enough landscape about what psychoanalysts now can say and know about uh, this huge topic. Uh, consequently, the IPA board approved also the uh, Dr. Elizabeth Young Bruehl Prejudice Award. It is an, an award entitled to the author of The Anatomy of Prejudice, a book which uh, uh, explored and indicated four kind of main prejudice uh, which are uh, in the current uh, society and culture, which are anti-Semitism, sexism, racism, and homophobia. Mm. Uh, of course, there are possibly others, and this yes. committee will for sure investigate, describe, and finally uh, give a prize every two years uh, 
coincident with uh, the IPA Congress. Uh, this uh, is uh, aimed to show how the IPA is uh, sensitive, careful, and open to study and to uh, address these uh, sometimes and very frequently dramatic occurrences. I think that it is uh, a part of the psychoanalytic uh, spirit and mandate to give room to these uh, main huge uh, themes which are so important for the general community. Yeah. Thank you. I, I think that that's a very thorough answer and it sounds like very important work that must be done. I know another one of Elizabeth Young Broyles' prejudices, she, one of her last books was Childism. We're yes. very prejudiced against children as it, well. It is true, yes. She added this f f fifth uh, yeah. possible area to be investigated. Thank you for having recalled yeah. this important point. Yes. Uh, this is uh, uh, Elizabeth Young Bruel was an eminent, a prominent figure, uh, culturally and socially. Yes. And the doctor Christine. Uh, Dunbar is uh, the promoter and donor on behalf of this figure uh, of this uh, new award and we yeah. appreciate it very much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it sounds terrific. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell mm -hmm. us about in terms of initiatives that are happening yeah. now? Uh, I, I, I think... can't tell us all, but a couple. <laughs> oh yes, I, I, I will uh, uh, report in further bills, uh, new initiatives, uh, about new initiatives which are very important, like the new encyclopedic dictionary of the IPA, of psychoanalysis of the IPA, uh, and uh, uh, the new e-journal, uh, which is uh, a realization jointly with uh, the regional federations. And we are very proud of these uh, new achievements. Mm -hmm. But many, many other initiatives will be presented in these uh, short pills. Thank you very much for having organized this. Mm. Mm. So one last question, something that you, know, you feel personally was very important to you to accomplish that you feel that has gone well and you're very pleased with in terms of your presidency? Yes, I think we are doing uh, some uh, things that uh, had uh, uh, a strong request from the basis of our association. So we tried to interpret this uh, new spirit uh, of IPA to be more open to the present world to the changes uh, in the human community and to the um, involvement of the psychoanalysts also uh, outside uh, the walls, uh, someone says, of the ivory term. Uh, ivory tower, yes. Tower, yes, yes. Of, uh, of our association. Mm -hmm. I think this is a, a good mandate for us and possibly for the future administrations mm. in order to really uh, follow uh, and, the, and the need of the psychoanalysts today, which are no longer an aristocratic uh, category. They are deeply involved in the today reality. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for the interview and for the time. Everybody. Thank you, Kim. Okay. And uh, let's meet again for further bills. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.